Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. My name's Guy Mowbray, joined for commentary by Sue Smith. And hopefully we've got some goals and drama on the way. It's Middlesbrough and they take on Chelsea. Cheers, Guy. Well, I'm sure both managers will have given them the final instructions. Go out and give it their all. Hopefully that'll be enough for a positive result. I'm looking forward to this one. Ball is rolling, we're underway. Promising ball, and there it is! 1-0 already! Well, here it is again, and he's done so well. He's got to the byline, been able to pick out a teammate, and the finish, it's hit with some power, some precision. Certainly a player in confident mood. They've given it away here. Just needs the composure now but he's failed to hit the target. Oh, that's a big chance miss that. This game very much still in the balance. A turnaround in possession, excellent positioning. Looks a good ball. It's in, two to the good. That little bit of buffer, and it's just a matter of keeping concentration now. Well, if we look at this again, what a ball this is. The weight of pass is just right to set up the opportunity. And what a finish. He goes for power. It was never in doubt. He just looks so confident running through. That's going to be it for the first 45 minutes. Well, he's certainly had a decent game so far, or maybe better than that. I think it's fair to say he hasn't disappointed. Yeah, that's been a good half for him. Clinical with his finish, but he's maintained an intensity to his performance. He'll be looking to keep that going in the second half. And there's the restart. Off we go again. The pass has not found its target. And there's the whistle. It's a penalty. He's not going to give him a booking, though. Well, he's a bit fortunate not to get booked there, I think. make it 3-0 and there won't be any rebounds there and it's on now and still danger here cuts it back and it's a pretty good save by the keeper Chelsea come away with the ball. What a chance here. It's in. And this game isn't lost or won just yet. Well, here it is again, and he just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Skips past the defender like he wasn't there, and then coolly slots it home. There's room to do something here. Now it needs a good ball in. Great chance here. 
and it's been kept out to deny him the double. He showed really good movement to get himself into those goal-scoring positions. Just couldn't quite find the clinical touch there. In behind, can he finish? Oh, penalty given, and a huge chance to finish this off. And that is also going to be a yellow card. It's a correct decision. Good officiating that. Had to be a yellow. <laughs> Up he steps to settle this. And it's in. A show of composure from 12 yards out. Well, if we watch this again, he's got to just dive, predict which way he thinks he's going to go. He doesn't, and it makes for an easy finish in the end. Off we go then, 3-1 the score now. And it's on now. And a goal to take them even further clear. Signing off in style. Well, here's the replay. It's poor defending. But you can't take anything away from the movement and the calm finish. It's a really nice goal, that. And away we go again at 4-1 now. Moving forward well. And that's it. The final whistle blows for full time. And it's disappointment for beaten Chelsea. Your thoughts, Sue? Well, they just weren't at the levels you expect from them. You can have one or two players not at the very best. But here it was the majority. It was all a bit lethargic for me. And I'm sure there'll be stern words said in the changing room later. Well, he's put in a more than satisfactory shift over the course of the game. What's your assessment, Sue? Yeah, he was one of the standouts for me. Sets the bar so high and demands more from his teammates on a regular basis. Thoroughly deserved the results.